Hello guys, it's Nim and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Nim and I will be the person that does the voiceover today <laughs> since it is my channel. And if you are returning to the channel, welcome back. I hope that you guys have a very had a very good week. Since today's Friday and um well, I am celebrating my weekend. That's right. I mean, I'm for the first time I'm actually recording the voiceover on the day that I'm also uploading the video so I hope everything goes correctly and that I can actually upload the video on the same day that I'm doing the voiceover since it is planned for today. And since today is Friday we are building in Planet Zoo and today we are continuing our Woodland Zoo series and the Woodland Zoo is basically um, my dream zoo or technically not a dream zoo because um, my dream zoo would look a lot better than I can actually build it, but we are gonna pretend like um, it's my dream zoo. Actually, it is a zoo like I like I would love to see a zoo, so I'm trying to build it the way that I would like it. So very spacious, very um, well awesome. As a matter of fact, I mean I can't really explain it otherwise. A lot of viewing points that go into the habitats and over the habitats. That's uh, you know kind of my drift at the moment. So, and today we are building a habitat for the African elephants. I have actually, I don't think I've ever built an elephant habitat because, you know, they require such a large space and I just don't know how to fill it up. But for this, this habitat I had actually, well, I mean, what I would consider actually a pretty good idea. So, what we're doing up first, we are marking our territory. That sounds wrong, we are laying the ground to the tr to the habitat so we're just planning it out so we're gonna see okay where's the habitat going where are the viewing points gonna go we have a little bit of water and that water is actually connected to one of the giant lakes that we have in our zoo so um the, ha the elephants can actually use it so when you are chilling at the like the plaza that's back there you can actually see the elephants as well so i mean i thought that was pretty awesome and the viewing point that we are building, I mean, obviously now we are placing trash cans, but in a moment we are going to build a viewing point. Actually, I think we're going to do the viewing point last. And that is going to be like this big African shed, kind of like. So then the entire Africa section is done. Because with the elephants, we are closing our African section and we are continuing on with other animals. So we had this giant African safari with like giraffes, zebras, um... African bisons, now we have these elephants, we have a giant African plaza with all... That's a completely themed zoo, so check it out. We finished our uh, Latin American section with, uh, with the temple. Then we are, well, we are now finishing up this one. So, and for this habitat, I was thinking of building a nice shelter and I wanted to do with something with a dome, so we are working spirally. So, if you have never done that, I'm probably not the best person to ask instruction because I can't really explain it well. But what I do, I build first one like side and I copy it over so then you have like one kind of like a hallway and then you just click and rotate it until you know it's complete and then you remove some of the sections so that the animals can actually you know walk in there. And that's that. The only thing that I didn't quite um well understand this may be a big word but i forgot um in the end we are going to have like six elephants in here because you know i like a lot of animals in my zoo and then obviously that shelter is not big enough so we are going to have to uh, redo the shelter in the end and you will see me doing that as well i think i left that in there's quite a lot of cutting in this uh video because i to be completely honest, I was also watching a show on Netflix while I was building this. So there are some pauses and, you know, I had to cut that out. And some of the footage, it's just not really that, that interesting. I mean, a lot of this habitat is, um, well, landscaping and placing rocks. And I did leave, like, parts of it in, but also um, when you walk up to the viewing point, there's this entire rock wall, like, giant rock wall, which I cut out because, let's be honest, I mean, I wouldn't like to watch plays uh, like watch someone place literally like 750 rocks so I'm not going to torture you with that so don't worry about that so there will, you will see it in the end cinematics though so 
you will see how I did that. And we are actually going to do like kind of the same thing as we did with the um, giant safari and the African bison. We are just going to put a lot of foliage on it so that it actually looks not just like random rocks, but it actually looks like it belongs there. Same what I did here with this hill. I mean, you could just have a little hill, but I wanted to have some rocks, I mean, to change it up. Because I, I go to a lot of zoos, like I'm, I'm a frequent zoo goer. I love the zoo, it's like one of my favorite things to do, I really love it. But the elephant habitats in the zoos that I've been to, they're kind of boring. I mean, they're really flat, they're open, there isn't a lot of uh, plants there, there aren't a lot of trees. It just doesn't look that good. I mean, I wanted to do something else. I mean, like, I no hard feelings to any zoo, like, whatsoever. I'm not personally attacking you or, you know, don't think that. I just wanted to do something different. The thing that I didn't understand, though, is that all the guests in this game are kind of dumb. So they are all going to stand on the other side of the rocks and then complain that they can't see the elephants. So, um, there is that. So we are probably gonna add some, um interesting shops or whatever very close to here so that the guests will come there so you see me right here i realized that our shelter was too small and now we are adding more and i have to say it actually has this really nice effect on the roof i actually quite like it and then obviously we are removing some panels just to make sure that the animals can actually walk in because if the space is too narrow the animals can't actually walk into it and it's not a traversable area and you don't want that you know and now the downside was that the habitat was actually too small for the shelter to fit in because they didn't have enough space so we had to uh, like expand it. Luckily you can just uh, select it and copy it over so thank goodness for that. And it does mean that um, the guests are going to have like a bit better uh, view of the animals. You know so that's always nice. And I think here we are just making some tiny little hills, placing some more rocks because you know there are African elephants and they're like on the savanna and I just have a feeling there are a lot of rocks like maybe that has something to do um, when I was a kid you had on Nickelodeon this show called uh, the wild thornberries like maybe you've heard of it but it was about this uh, family and like the dad was this kind of like Steve Irwin guy or whatever if I remember correctly they, they always go looking for animals and then they video it and um, like the the youngest daughter um, I don't know what her name is, I forgot her name. Anyway, so she saved an animal and that turns out to be like a shaman and then she could talk to animals. And uh, they, a lot of their episodes would like um, happen in the, in the savanna. So there would be like a lot of rocks. Maybe that would just make it like interesting looking, but you know, I always quite liked it. So at this point of time in the video, we are making this African shed sort of uh, like. You can see that I, already decorated the entire pathway leading up to the viewing point and now we are playing with this we are gonna add a lot of beams and i decided to leave it all in because you know it is quite interesting i mean if i say so myself i find it quite interesting to see i'm quite the the youtuber you know um, amazing content and everything but i also let watch a lot of planet zoo videos from other creators and I'm always very intrigued with how they build stuff, so I'm always very happy if they have videos where they just place items one step at a time so I can see what they're doing and learn from it. Because um, this game, man, some of the controls, I am not good with it. I'm just, I feel like I'm 80 if I work with some of the controls because I just don't get it. And that is probably just me, because you know, um, Computer games, I love it, but sometimes I'm not really good at it, like I'm good at other things. That makes me sound like I'm a computer noob, I don't mean it like that, I mean I'm quite a gamer, but you know. The controls in this game are quite tricky if you like don't really follow any tutorials, because I always skip tutorials because I don't really care for them and I think they're too long. But in this case I actually wish that I played the tutorial before going into sandbox mode. And granted, I could still do it, but, you know, I'm too lazy to do that, so who cares? So here I am trying to figure out how to actually uh, rotate it, because I want to make this, um, how do you call it, like this beam work? 
that you would see in like um, when you in the Netherlands you have a museum and in that museum they had like recreate and built all these very old um, homes and like prehistoric things and they have like a lot of beam work and a lot a lot of beams like a lot of beams so I wanted to do something similar and I was just like hmm how would that work like how does it work and I think I actually quite succeed in it to make it look like it's a really grand statuesque building and I'm actually quite happy the way it turned out I do believe that we are almost at the end of this video we are just placing the final beams and then we are going into the cinematics like I said it is quite a short video this week I will make sure next week's videos is a bit longer but guys for now I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you subscribe like comment share you know do all those YouTube things to so that my channel can grow and I will hope to see you guys on the next video bye guys <laughs>